Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. Oh, I'm so excited to be doing this voiceover in my new studio. It sounds so much better in here, honestly. I don't want to bore you with all the technical things, but in my past place, I lived next to a highway, so I would always have to stop whenever a truck would go by or somebody would beep. I feel like I'll be able to, you know, record things a little bit more fluidly and I'll be able to get my thoughts together a little bit more succinctly now that I don't live next to a highway and it's so quiet here anyway for those of you who don't know I moved to a new city and I've moved into a place where I have my own studio uh, where I'm living and it makes such a big difference to have a place where I'm just dedicated to making work and I don't have to pack things away all the time um, when I get cracking so yeah it's a it's really exciting, so I'm pretty pumped. Lots of big things are happening, and I've also gone full-time with art. I've got lots of big jobs coming up that I'm currently working on, and then also things for the future, so yeah. Just wanted to update you guys really quickly on what's happening. Just want to quickly say that because I am in a new studio, I'm still trying to figure out my new tripod and my lighting, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit flickery and you know gets exposed here and there. Yeah, anyway, boring technical things, but I just wanted to let you guys know because I always notice that sort of stuff. I don't know if anybody else does. But anyway, back to the actual art. Let's talk about some art. I was asked by WOW times WOW. I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, Tim, <laughs> the curator. If you're watching this, please let me know how to pronounce it. Or if you guys follow that account on Instagram and the website, please tell me how you pronounce it. Anyway, so WOW is a online store that curates contemporary art across the globe. And I've been a big fan of this website for a while. And to be asked to be part of it is really exciting. Yeah, so this group show that I'll be a part of uh, will be featuring this artwork. The show is called Microvisions and the brief was to create work that was maximum 10 inches by 10 inches so in centimeters I believe that's around 25 centimeters which is perfect for me because I'm going through a mini art phase at the moment so I'm making lots of teeny tiny paintings and I'm doing a lot of paintings on paper at the moment as well. I don't, I don't know why I'm like really obsessed with the paper at the moment there's something like really flush and matte about the paper that I'm really enjoying. By the way, I get a few questions about what paper I'm using. I'm just using um, pink card that you can get at like $2 stores or I guess Staples in America or like Officeworks in Australia. It's not the most high quality paper. In fact, it's pretty much the cheapest thing that you can possibly buy, but I don't believe in getting really fancy, incredible art supplies all the time. I believe you can sometimes just like, you know, challenge yourself with the media that you use. I don't rely on like the very best of everything, you know. I could go on a whole tangent about that, but maybe I'll do that for another video. I have been wanting to make this piece for quite some time, but I just didn't have the time to really schedule it in. I will be in a bunch of shows with WOW, by the way, so if you, and also uh, in case you didn't know, it's a online show. So all the artwork is collected and curated online and then you can buy it online as well. So it's not restricted to anybody or any country. So yeah, that's exciting. Yes, back to this artwork. I sketched this piece originally in December 2017 because I wanted to make a bunch of creature girls with cracked open heads. I've been following and inspired by, I'm gonna pr totally butcher this name, um, Shintaro Kagaro. They do a lot of work with macabre kind of heads. Um, I really enjoy that type of humor in work. I don't like to take my work seriously whatsoever. I feel like no matter what, there is an underlying comical theme to it. You know, my work is meant to be as light and as silly as possible. I think people take things really seriously. I take the technical aspects really seriously, but the subject matter, I want it to be fun. You know, that's, that's the underlying feeling that I want in all of my work. I want it to be creepy and 
weird and original, you know? I have been exploring this like dismembered, cracked open head theme. I mean, it's a theme that I think a lot of people do. I'm really inspired by, you know, obviously lots of sci-fi and I guess like Eon Flux and Ghost in the Shell, you know, like questioning what we think human consciousness is. So I just, I love this theme of destruction. And I think I've mentioned it in my other video that uh, the other painting that I did, um, I'll just pop it up here. I love the theme of destruction. There's something really sick about it. Maybe I'm really just tapping into my male psyche, but for me, it's a real power play. It's like you have this power to create something and completely destroy it. So that's how I feel about this piece. I know in terms of destruction, this is really, really light. And um, in no way am I really actually destructing anything. But for me, it's almost destructing and pulling apart the idea of this person's face. So that's what I mean by destruction. I hope that makes sense. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you feel about this theme. I think this is a theme that gets pulled into art quite some time, you know, building something up and then tearing it down. There's something about man's nature of wanting to completely destroy everything so yeah I, I want to know why do you think humans are like that yeah I think it's a it's an interesting theme you can see it all across history and yeah uh, I'm a pop culture junkie so really this is my nod to everything 80s pop culture manga sci-fi I feel like I don't really come to any conclusions with my work I just feel like this is how it is or I take things that I like and construct them together. I can't quite come to a conclusion just yet. Yeah, so that's it for me right now. If you guys are interested in this artwork, it will be available on WOW, X WOW. I am thinking about making prints of this. I haven't made prints and merchandise for quite some time, but I do want to get my butt into gear and yeah, I'd love to translate this one into a print. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and you can head over to my website if you want to support my art and this channel. We'll see you later. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.